Concerned Ape just announced that the 1.6 update will be made available on mobile, consoles and Switch on November 4th. In celebration of that, here are my top 10 favourite secrets in Stardew Valley that you might have forgotten about, including the new additions in the 1.6 update as well as a couple of easter eggs that already existed in the older versions. Every year on Spring 17, head to the waterfall near the abandoned house at Cinderset Forest. A pot of gold appears at the end of a rainbow there, and when you click on it, you'll receive the leprechaun hat and some gold. Speaking of hats, you can now place hats on horses, cats and dogs in the 1.6 update. One of my favourite new hats in the 1.6 update is the Infinity Crown. You can purchase this hat from the abandoned house for 20,000 gold after obtaining the most powerful weapon in the game. To do that, grab your Galaxy Sword and head to the Forge. Forge it three times with Galaxy Souls and Cinder Shards. This will turn it into the Infinity Blade and unlocks the infinite power achievement for you to purchase the Infinity Crown. There's now a new Fishing Bobber style machine, which gives you 39 different Fishing Bobber styles to choose from while fishing. You can find this new machine in the corner of Willy's shop, and new Bobber styles can be unlocked by catching different types of fish in Stardew Valley. This includes a duck, Doja Ken, Heart Shape, Star Drop, and you can even click the randomize button to activate a random bobber each time you cast your fishing line. The new fishing bobber styles make fishing so much more interesting and are definitely some of my favourite additions to the game. There's a secret prize ticket hidden in a box behind the stump above the bookseller. In the 1.6 update, prize tickets can now be exchanged for prizes using the prize machine located in Lewis's house next to the town ledger. You can obtain things like saplings, books, star drop tea or even dehydrators, kegs and fish smokers. Prize tickets are earned by completing quests, special orders, the Stardew Valley Fair Shop and through repeated Egg Festival and Festival of Ice wins. We love to abuse Lewis in this game, and what better way to do it than with his lucky purple shorts? In the 1.6 update, you can use it to get a new fishing bobber style. Putting them in the tackle slot of your fishing rod changes the bobber style to the lucky purple shorts bobber. If placed in the first slot of an advanced iridium rod, the shorts even prevent your tackle in the second slot from losing durability. In the 1.6 update, you can also place the shorts into fish tanks as a decoration item for everyone to see. Another new addition to 1.6 is the cursed shorts. Placing a staircase in Lewis's bedroom will give you access to a secret maze room with the shorts at the end. Attempting to pick up the shorts will spawn a cursed lucky purple shorts that slowly attacks you and is immune to attacks. You can repeat this process to obtain multiple shorts, but you'll need to run away to ensure you don't pass out from the attacks. Other things you can do with his shorts that existed in previous versions include putting them in the luau soup on summer 11th to get this response from the governor and Louis. Putting them in the Stardew Valley Fair Grange display on Fall 16th, which will disqualify you. Lewis also gives you 750 star tokens as a bribe to keep his secret. Marnie also gives unique dialogue at the fair after seeing the shorts on display. Lastly, gifting them to Marnie will cause this awkward dialogue to occur. If you throw an ancient doll into the lava pool on floor 100 of the mines, or in the lava at the forge on Ginger Island, 
A bone serpent from Terraria will rise from the pool and give you the faraway stone. Placing this item on the plant pedestal in the basement of Wizard's Tower will open up a portal. A cat will step in and give you the Meow Meow weapon. If you want to use this cool sword but retain the powers of your Infinity Blade, you can head to the Forge to change the appearance of your Infinity Blade using just Cinder Shards to have it look like the Meow Meow. Now that we've covered my favourite new secrets in the Stardew Valley 1.6 update, here's a quick summary on some of my favourite secrets that were already existing in the previous versions. If you found this video helpful so far, do help me out by liking and subscribing to my channel. This special charm permanently increases your daily luck. After obtaining Secret Note 20, you can follow the path depicted in the note to a truck parked beside Doja Mart. Speak to the truck driver who will request a rabbit's foot. If you have one, you can trade it for the special charm which permanently increases your daily luck by 0.025. If you place milk, goat milk, or cookies on a table on Winter 24, the eve before the Feast of the Winter Star on Winter 25, it'll be replaced with a mystery box the next morning. If you head to the bottom of Cindersap Forest, you can find Trash Bear by the Spring Onion Patch and the entrance to the sewers. Trash Bear will appear on non-rainy days beginning Year 3. He will ask you for random items each time. Fulfilling four requests will trigger a cutscene where Trash Bear flies up on an umbrella and cleans up the trash in the area near the water, replacing them with bushes and trees. Trash Bear continues flying on the umbrella to Pelican Town and cleans up the trash near Pam's front yard and upgrades the dog pen beside the saloon. There is no time limit in fulfilling his requests but Trash Bear does not appear on rainy days. After repairing the bus to Calico Desert, you can gain access to the Oasis or Sandy's shop, which houses the casino. You can win prizes by gambling tokens on the slot machines or by playing Calico Jack, which is a Stardew version of Black Jack. You can use your tokens to redeem prizes like decorations, a top hat or even fireworks in the 1.6 update that you can set off anywhere on your farm. To gain access to the casino, you'll need to complete the Mysterious Tea quest. From the bus stop, head left and you'll find a power box between two lights on the wall. You can start the quest by putting a battery pack into the power box in the bus tunnel. Next, leave a rainbow shell in the box near the train station. You'll then need to put 10 beads in Lewis's fridge. Next, bring a solar essence to the large dragon fossil in the Calico Desert near the oasis. Finally, inspect the lumber pile to the left of your front door to find a club cart inside. Speak to the bouncer in the oasis and show him your club cart and he'll let you into the casino. Besides trying your luck at Calico Jack and the slot machines, you can also purchase the Statue of Endless Fortune here, which produces one gift or item each day. You can buy as many of these statues as you want. On a villager's birthday, the statue will produce a specific one of their loved items, making it perfect for gifting. After the community center is complete, Doja Mart will move from the building, leaving it abandoned. When you enter the abandoned building, you'll see a little plaque for the missing bundle. Once the missing bundle is complete, Junimals will renovate the abandoned building into a movie theater. You can purchase movie tickets for 1,000 gold and gift tickets to villagers to see movies together with them. 
Asking a villager to watch a movie they love earns you 200 friendship points, while a liked movie earns 100 friendship points. You can also choose to buy a snack at the concessions counter for your guest and earn up to 50 friendship points. And those are 10 of my favourite secrets in Stardew Valley so far. Let me know in the comments what your favourite Stardew Easter eggs are, and be sure to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful.